Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets Lego set. This set is a remake of the 2002 version of the Chamber of Secrets which is super expensive now on Bricklink and eBay. But I'm really excited that LEGO remade this set for the 20th anniversary of LEGO Harry Potter. So without further ado, let's get this set opened up. Can I just say something real quick? I have freaking missed building these Harry Potter castle sets. I had the older Hogwarts castle set back when I was like 12 years old, and this set really brought me back, boys and girls. I don't really like Technic builds, so your boy loves himself a good brick build, which is exactly what these Harry Potter sets are, just bricks on top of bricks, which honestly is kind of a relaxing build. This set comes with a freaking ton of minifigures. First up on the left, we have Aurora Sinstra, which I think is one of the astrology professors or something like that. And then, of course, we have Gildroy Lockhart. What a guy. Um, he's got his uh, nice nervous smile there, and he's sweating bullets, so that's pretty funny. And then we have Justin Finch Fletchy there with his camera. I'm not sure if he actually has a camera or not. It just came with an extra one, so... Uh, I just had him hold it. And then we have Luna Lovegood there, uh, of course the young version of her. I think we've only gotten versions of her in the later movies, so it's cool to get her um, as a younger student. I think she's like a second year in this one. And then we have Ginny Weasley there with the Chamber of Secrets book. Um, so that's really cool. I was hoping that this was going to be printed, but it's actually a sticker. But I mean, it still looks really cool, and it's got a blank page in there, but uh, really glad we got the Tom Riddle's diary in there, so that's really cool. And then, of course, Albus Dumbledore there. I think this is a new um, version of him, uh, or at least new robes that he's got, so that's, that's pretty cool. And then he has two facial expressions as well. I'm not sure why they give him two facial expressions, because it literally looks exactly the same with the beard under it, but not complaining. 
But yeah, that's uh, Dumbledore. And then we have Tom Riddle, or Voldemort, there. Looks pretty clean. He's got his robes there with the leg printing, so that looks really good. And then we've got Ron here, which I'm not sure why they gave him this color of hair. Um, usually they give him like the, the red hair like uh, Ginny has over here, but it's sort of like a nougat color or the same color that uh, Gilderoy Lockhart over here has. So uh, not too sure what's up with that, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad on him. Uh, he's sort of got the middle part going on there. And then we have Harry, of course, here with the Sword of Gryffindor. That is a new piece, I believe, which looks really awesome. It's a little bit rubbery here at the top, so that's kind of interesting, but yeah. That looks awesome. And then we do get our 20th anniversary minifigure, which is Voldemort. Still not a huge fan of these golden minifigures. They just look really weird to me. Um, I don't know why, but they just, I, I don't know why they made them gold. Like, man, come on. We should have just gotten some classic minifigures from back from 2001, but uh, I don't know. It does say 20 years of Harry Potter there at the back though. So that's pretty cool. Anyway. That is all of the minifigures you get in this set. So a ton of minifigures. So if you're anything like me and love collecting these Lego minifigures, then this is a great set to get. The next thing that I just wanted to take a quick look at is the Basilisk here. Uh, he is really cool. He's got a special head mold there, which is really cool. The jaw even uh, opens up like that. <laughs> That's really cool. So you can reenact the scene where Harry like stabs the basilisk with the sword of Gryffindor. So that's awesome. He's got some nice printing for the eyes. And then he has these weird new like Technic pieces right here that are kind of like curved, kind of like macaroni noodles. But uh, you can move those however you want. So you can, you know, have his head up like this or anything that you want. Uh, same thing with his tail. You can kind of move it around. It's on. Technic pins, so you can kind of move it around however you want. He's got some nice detailing there um, with the, the scales on the sides. But yeah, that's cool. I really like uh, the way the Basilisk looks in this set. But yeah, and then a really cool function that I'll show you guys real quick. So at the, the front of the castle here, sorry, let me get that to focus here. But at the front of the castle here, um, in this front part, there are these two little uh, like arm pieces, I guess. You can move those out of the way. And then this rock piece pulls out right there, like that. But in here is the basilisk fang that they take from the basilisk, which I think they use in um, the Deathly Hallows to stab one of the horcruxes. So that's a really cool little Easter egg in there. But anyway, this pulls out and then you can slide the basilisk in this little tunnel right here. And then on the other side, if you flip this around, then there is the face of Salazar Slytherin right there. And you can just have the basilisk sort of come out here, which is really cool. I really like that, that play feature there. But yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. And then you can just slide him back under here like he's going back in the tunnels of Hogwarts. And then you can just slide this um, back in there and then it closes up his mouth. So that's really cool. And then um, we get two of these uh, snake statues on either side, which sort of have that transparent dark green in them, which looks really cool. And then over here, there's the slide that uh, you can come down into the Chamber of Secrets. So we can just have like Ron, you know, coming down and in, into the tunnel, which um, something that is also really cool. Sorry, I'm gonna go on kind of a side tangent real quick, but in the instructions right here, um, in like one of the back pages, you can see that if you combine this set, the Chamber of Secrets, and then the Fluffy Encounter set, as well as the Bathroom Polyjuice Potion Mistake set, um, you can combine all of them, like it shows right here, and you can make this giant scene with all of them. So then you can have the, the girl's bathroom 
go down into the Chamber of Secrets, which is super cool. So I might have to pick up these two sets, or at least just the uh, the Polyjuice Potion set, so then you can have it like actually like the bathroom opens up and then you slide down into the Chamber of Secrets. So that's really cool. You can sort of mix and match all of these scenes here. All of this is modular, like I'll, I'll show you a little bit later, but this entire set is modular. So you can sort of, you know, mix it up where you want certain um, scenes to be and stuff like that. So it's really cool. So yeah, but back to this bottom level of the Chamber of Secrets, but there's, there's some bones over here uh, scattered about that the um, basilisk has, you know, eaten and stuff like that. But then uh, up to the second floor, um, first of all, I'll just show you guys how all of this sort of comes apart, but it's all modular. So this top part uh, comes off just like that. And then I think you can even take off this part too. Yeah, you can take this off as well. And then this top little section comes off as well like that. So you can kind of switch around where you want these to be. Like you could have this one over here and stuff like that. Or you could, uh, you know, put this one back up here. Or you can, you can kind of just mess around with what you want in which spaces. So that's kind of cool. And then this level comes off just like that. Pretty easy. And then the Great Hall over here. They've made so many versions of the Great Hall in Lego, but that comes off just like that. And then this part just like stays there. It's stationary. So, you know, you got you got some cereal right there and a croissant. So that's pretty cool. And then you can sort of just see um, deeper into the Chamber of Secrets. There's not really a whole lot of uh, stuff going on here, but there's some detailing, which is kind of cool. And then over here, we have the, um, the gate to the Chamber of Secrets. So we've got like all the snakes, you know, going in different directions and stuff, but this just opens like that. So that's really cool, but yeah. And then speaking of this gate, I noticed also in the instructions over here that, uh, let me find the page. Oh yeah, right here. So you build this part and then you have like sort of these uh, four by four macaroni pieces or like the, the macaroni tiles right here. So you build two of those at the bottom. And then up here, it says you need two of these, but it says you put four of them on there, but it's literally only two at the top. So that was like really weird. I was like, uh, it says two of them, but it says that you put four. So that was really weird. Just a little typo that I thought I would point out. I don't know if this is like a typo in all of the instructions that they produce for this set, but I just thought that was really weird and uh, thought I would point that out for you guys. But yeah, back to this gate. It's pretty cool. Opens up. Uh, you can kind of reenact that scene from the movie. And then up here is just a little, you know, part of the castle. Just a tiny little, you know, spot for the owls to chill out and stuff like that. And then you have these little like glow in the dark um, bits right here. So let me just turn off the lights real quick. So I turned off all the lights. Uh, there's still some light coming through the windows, but you can kind of see um, if I like put my hand over there, but like all these pieces glow in the dark, which makes me remember I forgot one of the minifigures in uh, when I was going over all the minifigures, but you also get nearly headless Nick and he also glows in the dark which is really cool. So make it as dark as I can. But yeah, he can kind of see he glows in the dark, which is super awesome. I like I haven't seen this feature in Lego sets since like those ghost sets where the ghosts would glow in the dark. So that's really awesome. Also, I think in the older Harry Potter sets back in like 2001, 2002, uh, all of the Snape minifigures had glow in the dark heads, which was really weird. I was like, why does Snape's head glow in the dark? But um, yeah, they had that feature with Snape there too. So yeah, that's pretty much it for um, this bottom layer or the basement layer of the Chamber of Secrets there. So we'll just move that off to the side. And then the next section we'll take a look at is the Great Hall. So like I said before, Lego has made a ton of Great Hall um, sets in the past. And this one 
I guess they were just like, all right, let's throw in another great hall, why not? Kind of reminds me of the older Hogwarts set with the great hall, because it's got the, the stove in the middle there, and then all of these um, seats around here. But it's really cool that they, they finally made an accurate um, podium for Dumbledore, because I remember it, it had like the eagle with its wings spread out, so that's really cool that they got that up there. So, you know, you can grab your Dumbledore and put him right there. So that's pretty cool um, to have him up there. And then, uh, yeah, and right here, um, I'm sure you probably noticed that this side of the table is like, you know, tiled. And you're like, oh, why is it tiled? Well, um, if you remember from the Chamber of Secrets, they had the Dueling Club, which was run by Gilderoy Lockhart. And so you can have your students. But yeah, you can grab two of the students here, have them on the table, and then one of them casts a spell, and then you flick the other one off like that. Or I guess you could put your finger through here, which might work a little bit better. But yeah, you can, you can do that and kind of reenact that scene, which is pretty cool. So that's a cool little play function there. And then, um, you know, we just got some like goblets there in the back, and then chocolate frog right there and then um, up here got some potions and stuff like that and then this Hogwarts banner this is also a sticker uh, this folds up and then you have the sorting hat which fits up here literally just sitting on a piece of poop apparently you just put the the sorting hat right on there so it's like all right cool uh you know I'll take it Lego poop so there you go but yeah, you just fold this down and then stick the sorting hat behind there. So nice little storage for him. But yeah, and then we got a tiny little wizard chest set right here, which is pretty cool. And then another little glass orb right here that glows in the dark. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the great hall. You know, you got some floating candles around, stuff like that. And then the back of it just looks like that, which looks pretty clean. And I'm not sure why LEGO decided to uh, change back to the green for the roofs on all the Hogwarts sets. Um, I know that when they first like reintroduced the line, they made all of the, the roofs dark gray, which I thought was fine. But all of the older Hogwarts castle sets, all the roofs were green and stuff. So I don't know if for just the 20th anniversary, they went back to the green roofs just because they're trying to remake some of the sets uh, with the sand green right here. I don't really know what's up with that, but I guess that would kind of make sense. But if you're trying to like, you know, connect all of these different Hogwarts sets, like even from the previous two years and like connect all of them together to make one giant Hogwarts, it's not really gonna match up super well because you're gonna have like, Cause like you're gonna have these sets with the sand green roofs and then you're gonna have the other ones with the dark gray roofs. So it's not really gonna match up super well, but I don't know, I think the sand green looks pretty cool. But I mean, if the dark gray is more accurate then I guess it's more accurate, but I don't really care which one they go with. I just think they should be consistent with all of them. But you know, that's just, that's just my opinion there. But yeah, let me just put um, the great hall on top of this little portion right here just so we got it all connected all right so this next little section we got is the defense against the dark arts classroom with Gilroy Lockhart you know he's got some paintings of himself background and stuff like that you got a skull on the background you got a pink frog some other like potions and stuff like that and candles and then you got these little um blue guys, I forgot what they're called. They're like uh, pixies or I don't know, something like that. Um, but they are from the movie. And so that's really cool. You get two of those in here. And then, um, you know, you get like two desks and then this little thing up here. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Maybe like the these pixies are supposed to like sit on them or something like that. I don't really know. But you can have Professor Lockhart, you know, uh, sit up here and teach the whole class like that. So that's pretty cool. You just get that little piece and then you can go ahead and attach this to the rest of the castle. Yeah, you can go ahead and attach this to the rest of the castle like that. 
And something kind of annoying is that this piece does come off a lot. So um, I don't know, whatever. And then uh, the last three sections we have here, we got the uh, astronomy tower. So we got like a sticker little piece right here with all the stars and constellations, stuff like that. And then we got the giant telescope right here. So that's pretty cool. You can, you know, look in there and see all the stars. And then you got one of these glow in the dark orbs right here. And then you have Hedwig just chilling on his perch right outside. And then the next part we got is Professor Lockhart's um, office. So he's got a lot of different pictures there of himself, of course. And then he's got stacks of his books. And then he's got like a hair piece right there. And then his desk, so you can have him sit at his desk as well. And then something that's really cool is that like these windows are actually like curved. I don't know if Lego has made um, curved window pieces like this in the past. They probably have. I just haven't gotten a set with them in it, but it's really cool. I really like the look that it gives off, especially when the whole thing is put together. And then you can just put this right up there, just studs in like that. And same thing with the astronomy tower. You can just set it up right like that. And then the last little section is sort of this balcony right here. And there's this clear rod piece with um, one of these weird little pieces on it. But what you can actually do is take this broom right here and you can put like Harry or somebody on it. And then you can attach them to this piece right here. And so that's really cool. So it's like they're actually flying on their broom. And then you can just take this and put it up here. So then you can have Harry flying up here. So that's really cool. Yeah, just a, just a little feature right there. But yeah, you can put any one of the figures that comes in this set up there on their broom. So that's kind of cool, like they're flying and then you can kind of like angle it however you want. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. Um, but when nobody is on the thing, it kind of looks a little bit weird so you can just like take it off if you want it's just clipped in there so you can just take it off or you can just like fold it back like that um, if you don't want anybody to see it so yeah guys that is all of the features of the chamber of secrets lego set i hope you guys enjoyed this review and walkthrough of the set if you guys like my content and want to see more reviews like this please consider hitting that subscribe button it really helps me out and i will see you guys in the next video peace out